All right. Well, uh, I was cruising along here, and I finally found one. Um, it's a, it's not one I really want, but I'm gonna get him anyway, J just so that we can see whether anything uh, happens that I was telling you all about. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give him a raspberry just for the hell of it, and we'll see. What Hey, what did he, watch it not do any of the stuff I was telling you. Oh no, see there? Now, we'll, we'll see how many times he breaks out. But what I've been seeing is that quite a few of these been been breaking out more than what they usually do. Now in this case it didn't, he just broke out once. But breakouts are still happening more. Um, also, if you notice, I don't have the game music on. Um, you know, that's because I, I went to uh, the settings and I turned off the music, um, you know, just to clean it up, make it easier to hear. But um, the neighborhood that I am in right now, ooh, there's a Bulbasaur around here somewhere. Oh, my son would be thrilled if I could find that. But, um... The neighborhood that you're in, I know some people probably like naturally questioned whether uh, a rich, a rich neighborhood might have better or more Pokemon than, you know, uh, a regular neighborhood. Um, and I can tell you right now, it does not make a difference. I'm going, I, um, I, as the day goes on, I go through poor neighborhoods, I go through middle neighborhoods, I go through rich neighborhoods, and I can tell you beyond a shadow of a doubt, it doesn't make a difference. No, there are not special Pokemon just in the rich guy's hood. There's not. Uh, there's nothing special in anybody's neighborhood. Um, as of yet, and I've been keeping an eyeball out, like checking Walmart, um, you know, like certain stores that might actually have the foresight to pay to use it as a means of advertisement. I haven't found any pokey specific store type locations, although I'm thinking that should be coming in the future because if Nintendo and the stores don't do it, they're stupid. It That would be, with, 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 the gay, the, with the way that this game has blown up, you would be absolutely stupid as a game company not to sell Pokemon specific to your store chain or something with a stop to get people to come there just to get that because you know, they come there for that. It's just like any other advertising. You're hoping that they're going to shop for other stuff, you know, or that, that they're going to go around. So uh, I'd, I'd be surprised if it doesn't happen. But as of yet, no, I don't see it happening, and the neighborhood don't make a difference. Um, I have found some unusual Pokemon stops. You, you notice right up here and this is kind of part of the reason that I started recording right now was first off I found a couple couple pokies back there uh, one of them walked off before I kicked it on but um, here's a pokey stop that is actually just a uh, historic house all, all it is is a house um, but it's a historic house and it's like right in the middle of this uh, area in San Antonio that's a uh, historic district and quite a few of the houses down through here have been considered landmarks. Um, they could justifiably put a stop at several others. Um, not quite sure why they chose one over the others. Maybe they figure if you're in the area you'll see all the rest. I don't know. Um, I noticed that Pokey stops at churches are really frequent. Artistic things, those are frequent. Uh, stuff like that. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens here as soon as I'm able to make this turn.
But, you know, I, th- I figured it would be worth mentioning, uh, you know, because some people have probably wondered whether there's a difference in neighborhoods uh, or areas. I mean, there, there, there's like a, uh, a difference in like maybe one side of town versus the other in that uh, like certain areas tend to have greater concentrations of particular beasts and you know that's that's to get people out and around their city but it doesn't go by income or quality of the neighborhood I mean it, it you know maybe one side of town's a little different than the other side but uh, you know if that side of town has got rich, middle, and poor neighborhoods, it ain't gonna make a difference which one of those you're in. Um, one thing I've noticed going down the road is that if you can judge the speed that you're going at, and you can eyeball how quick you're coming up on a pokey stop, if you have your phone up in a hands-free device to make it safe, you can reach up and select that pokey stop before you get to it and kind of have an idea of when you're actually passing it in real life and as you go to pass it you can flip it and even though on screen it'll tell you that it's out of range because it was out of range when you picked it it will be in range when you flip it so you will get the goodies and you'll see me do that here in a few seconds there's a pokey stop on the other side of that gym and I'm gonna do it Um, hopefully I'll time it right so that you can see what I'm talking about but you can pre-select the stop and then spin it when you pass it so there's one right on the other side of that gym and I can actually pick it ahead of time. Although this gym might give me a bit of a problem in doing that. Nope, okay, I got it. All right, so now you see it says it's too far away. But when I get up there, as I go to pass it, I'm gonna flip it. Now, if you flip it too soon, it'll mess the whole thing up. You, you, you won't be able to get it. You gotta wait until you're, you know, it's registering that you're actually there. And it seems like the GPS actually delay is slightly delayed. So instead of waiting until you're right at it, you may want to wait until you're just a hair past it and then do it. It's going to be just a minute. But on the note of those gyms, though, um, my son and I went out. I I took him to go do some gym fighting. And I honestly really don't see the point of gyms. We, we, We took one over, and we didn't get diddly squat out of it. All right, so now I'm passing it now. And, okay, they, they updated their app. <laughs> so the, the app updated and noticed when I was by it. But prior to this update, it wasn't recognizing when you were by it, so it, it wouldn't update and show that you were in range. But either way, you still, that shows you that you can pre-select it, and then as you come up on it and it goes good, pow, you can spin it. Um, so if you're trying to you know, get some quick stops in with a hand-free device as you're rolling down the road, That's something that that you can do. Um, But, you know, back to the deal with the gym. Uh, You know, we we won a bunch of matches. Uh, We put a guy in there to defend. We clicked to get our, you know, our little 10 coin defense. But that was it. You know, the one day, that's that's like all you get is 10 coins for being in there and having a defender. Now, technically, you can have up to 10 and then hit the little shield to get your coins. But there's no way in hell that you're going to get around to enough gems to actually get 10 in gems and then pick that. It's, it's just not going to happen, um, you know, at least until people stop playing so frequently. 
you know, maybe later or if the game loses popularity, you might be able to pull that off. But right now, you can't. Um, uh, we we also uh, left a Pokemon overnight at a gym that was at a fire station that I know very well. It like lasted there all night. We didn't get any coins out of that. Um, I thought you were supposed to get a bunch of coins if it was in there six hours or longer, but it didn't happen for us. Um, so, holy heck, would you look at that? Hello, baby. Oh, no. No, hell no. Man, what kind of fucking trick of quantum shit light is that? Look like a babe from far off and Godzilla up close. That kind of crap ought to be illegal. It's like something out of a Fukushima disaster. Man, what kind of scary ass trick stuff is that? Man, I don't know if you guys ever see stuff like that. Somebody looks really good from far away and you get up close and it's like somebody hit him in the head with a frying pan. And broke the pan. Now the, I'm not just poking along down the road. The speed limit down through here is 35, so. I try not to touch it more than I got to. But, uh, you know, one thing I'm noticing that you see here is there are not as many Pokemon as what there were. Uh, frequency has dropped, variety has increased. So, since I'm not seeing anything here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this off. Uh, until I actually come up on something. Yep, too slow. 